Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome back to Crocoblock channel. If you are following our previous tutorials, you already know that we've covered such key features of Jet Engine as custom post type, custom fields and custom taxonomy. In this video, we will together create and style a listing item and then display the post in a listing grid block. By the way, if you haven't seen our previous Jet Engine tutorials, I highly suggest you watch them as you will get a better understanding of what we will be talking about today. As always, if you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell. But before I move on to creating a listing item, I'd like to briefly explain what it is and where a listing template can be used. A listing item or a listing template or shortly a listing is a set of information about one item of a custom post type. The listing displays data that you previously added to the meta field of a post. A listing template contains information that is required to create a product listing – title, description, images, price, and other information. Also, when you create a listing template, you define what meta fields will be shown, in what order, and what style settings will be applied to them. So what is a listing grid then and how listing item or a template is related to it? A listing grid consists of the listing template items. To have perfectly set up listing grid, you should first of all create custom post type and add meta field. Secondly, create the posts. Fill the meta fields with content and that will be the data displayed in the listing grid at the end. Then create the listing item itself. It's only one template for your future items in the listing grid. So we will create just one item. And the last step, adding a listing grid block to a page. In this tutorial, I'm using Crocoblock real estate website template Findero and we will be creating three different types of listings in Gutenberg with the help of Jet Engine dynamic blocks. It may seem like it's a very huge amount of work, but trust me, it won't take too much time since you need to create just one listing item and the listing grid will replicate the data from each post. To create a listing, let's go to Jet Engine Listings. Click on Add New. First of all, you need to define a source. If it is set to Post, you also need to specify whether it's gonna be a post, page, or your custom post type. Keep in mind that if you have more plugins installed like Elementor, there will be more options here. The second option in the source is Query Builder. Query Builder is a tool that helps you create a list of items picked up from the general array according to some conditions. You set the conditions for list creation and then create a listing template for that list and display it via the listing grid. If you need more details on how Query Builder works, please check our video tutorial. If you select Terms as a source, you will be able to select the taxonomy terms and set it to Users if you want to work with the user's info. And the last option here – Repeater. If you want to pull just one meta field, use for example post source, but if you're a big fan of repeater functionality and you prefer not to waste your time, use repeater source. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use three different sources and the plan is to create a listing template in the first part of this tutorial and in the second one, we will display the listing items in three different listing grids. For now, I'm gonna start with the terms and select Property Type Taxonomy. As you know, Gutenberg works with the blocks, but using just default blocks, you won't be able to pull any data dynamically. But there is a perfect option that will help us – Jet Engine Dynamic Blocks. You will notice them among the default ones as Jet Engine Blocks look a bit different. So, in the first part of this tutorial, I will create a simple listing template to display different types of property on the home page. I will add a dynamic image block first. Select the source under the general, for example, post thumbnail. I will set source to icon, which is a custom meta field added to the property type taxonomy. The next block will be dynamic link set to permalink to pull the tag name. The last block here will be dynamic field. 
This one will be used to display the number of properties available on the website. So I will select post term user object data as a source and then set post object to post count. To style the blocks, I will use JetStyle Manager plugin. Simply install it and you'll see this block style icon once you select a block. JetStyle Manager has everything that you need to style the blocks in a nice way. Customize the block if needed and publish the listing. Now we can move on to the next listing template. I'm gonna click on Add New again and this time select Post and my custom post type properties. Again, I will start with a dynamic image block, set source to post thumbnail, and then add dynamic link to pull the name of the property. Change the image size and style the text if needed. Then I will add a dynamic field block, set source to metadata, and with the help of it, you can pull any data that you put into your custom meta field. I will pull the address here and then add the same block to pull the price and other data like the number of rooms, bathrooms, etc. And you can also select an icon and customize the field output here. By the way, with the help of the style manager, you can also adjust the position of the elements inside the blocks by changing margin and padding. Alright, and the last listing template for today. Let's create a new one for the users. Again, I'm going to start with the dynamic image and select user info photo under the general. You can use dynamic field block and set source to post term user object data to display the user's information like name or email. In case you have any custom fields that you added in the meta boxes, select metadata as a source to pull the extra data, for example, position. Style the blocks and once you're done, publish the listing. And the final step is to create a listing grid for the template. Open the page where you want to place your listing or create a new one. Find a listing grid block and add it. For the first grid, I will select the template for the property types. Set the number of columns for the desktop, tablet, and mobile versions if needed. Also set the overall number of posts that will be displayed and you can also enable lazy load, masonry grid, equal columns height, set different query settings and change block visibility. Moreover, if you want to highlight the main content on a page and display it in a visually appealing format, you can turn your listing grid into a slider. There will be a separate, detailed tutorial dedicated to slider only, so stay tuned. I will add two more listing grids, select the property template for the first one, and real estate agent for the second one. And you can also adjust the gap between the columns with the help of JetStyle Manager plugin. Once you're satisfied with the result, publish the page. And let's check the front end. This is how the page with listing grids look on the desktop. And here are also the tablet and mobile view. I hope I convinced you that creating a listing template isn't hard at all. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below or contact our support team, we're always here for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.